Dallas McRae with Lightwave Solar. I'm at a Solar Plus storage job here in Nashville, Tennessee. This is a typical Lightwave Solar Plus storage install. We've got 10 kW of solar and two Tesla power walls. This allows our customers to store the excess power they generate during the day and use it right here in their house at night. So here we are in the Tesla monitoring app. This gives you insight into your system's performance as well as all the information you could need about your own energy demands and needs. We can come here to the power flow tab this shows us solar generation, energy stored in the power walls, and your home consumption. Over here, we can get even more detailed. We can get some nice graphs showing us our usage. We're going to scroll back to yesterday. This blue line shows this customer's home energy consumption, solar generation overlaid with their consumption, as well as what exactly was happening with their batteries. You can see here in the morning, they weren't using a ton of power. Their solar came up, generated excess, they stored it into their batteries, and then at the night, they got to use it, and it covered them through that first portion of the night. We'll come to today. It actually looks like it carried them through the entire night until their solar kicked back up. They started storing more power in their batteries. They actually got their batteries up to 100%. Customer noticed, plugged his car in so that he's maximizing the full generation from his system. Another helpful feature we can see here in the Tesla app, we can go back to our main screen and we can come down here to our backup history. This will show us every time the system is experiencing an outage and our power walls actually kicked in to power the home fully. We'll scroll down here and we can see on March 3rd when we experienced tornadoes here in Nashville, this system actually backed the home up for 39 hours. We're actually going to simulate our own outage right now, so let's head outside to the gateway and show you what those components look like. So we're here in the customer's backyard now, so we can see their 10 kilowatt solar array. We have a total of 34 rooftop mods. Some of them are facing south and some of them are facing east. That eastern portion gives him the ability to generate more solar first thing in the morning. And the southern ones are more optimized for all day generation and usage. So coming down off the roof, we have DC power from the solar panels. It's coming to our inverter. This is a Solar Edge HD wave. This takes our DC that the solar panels generate, turns it into AC power that our home can use. We then come over through here into an AC disconnect. This is a safety feature for firefighters. And then we come over here to our generation panel. This is where we tie everything together. We've got a breaker for our inverters and we've got our two power wall breakers. This then feeds over to our gateway. This is the whole brains of the system. This is where it's deciding how much to pull from the batteries, where that excess power is gonna go, and what to do in an outage. You can see here, utilities coming down, feeds into our gateway, comes through our gateway, through this breaker, comes over and powers this homeowner's 200 amp main service panel that's backing up everything. So here we are at the Tesla gateway. We're gonna simulate an outage and show you just what the system does whenever we uh, lose grid power. Coming down from here again, we've got grid power coming through this customer's meter, coming through our gateway, through this main breaker, backing up their two, whole 200 amp service panel. We're gonna cut this main breaker now, remove utility power from the site, and the customer inside won't even notice. So here we go, three, two, one. And then here on the app, it's gonna show us the grid is isolated red X on it, so we have no grid power, yet everything in the home remains being powered. Okay, so after this outage, we're gonna bring back the customer's utility power. This device is gonna wait five minutes as a safety feature for the home, for the solar equipment, and for the power walls before it re-energizes. So here we'll turn this back on, and then five minutes later, we'll hear it click, and we'll be back on grid. Okay, so we're getting here close to the end of the five minute grid timer. This is gonna re-engage and reconnect to the grid, even though we don't need it. Whenever it's done, you just heard it click. We're gonna wait for our five, 10 second delay on the app, and we're gonna see that grid re-engage. You can see our red X is now gone, and we're back on grid. Resiliency is a big portion of what the power walls give you. So this residence exactly used that when the tornado came through, and this house was the house in the neighborhood that had power and was able to be the rally point where people could charge cell phones, keep things going, and be kind of that beacon inside the neighborhood that others could come to. So 
right now we're looking at the power wall install. Obviously, we also have uh, car charging here. So this customer does a great job of not only monitoring what his home is doing, but when the power walls are full, he can also come and start charging his, his car. So he uses not only the supply side of what the, uh, what the solar is supplying, but he also uses the demand to manage that process.